Hello, my name is Taylor Dills, and this is an oral presentation on captivity narratives. One of the most famous captivity narratives is that of Mary Rowlandson's called The Sovereignty and Goodness of God. A captivity narrative is an account given by someone who has been held in captivity, and it, des it describes their trials and challenges they faced during their time in captivity. In Kay Johnson's article, Captivity Narrative, they describe that the author of a captivity narrative re tries to relate her trials of captivity, escape, or rescue, and in some cases, her assimilation into, nat into the Native community. Mary Rawlinson was born in 1636 in England and moved to Massachusetts in 1639. She married John Rawlingson, who was the town's minister, and had four children. One of those children died during infancy. In 1676, during King's Philip, King Philip's War, a group of Native Americans attacked the town of Lancaster, which is where Rawlingson and her family lived. She, along with her four, three children, were captured and separated into different groups of Native Americans. During captivity, she faced very difficult events and circumstances. Um, during her time in captivity, her, her six-year-old child, who was wounded during the attack, died in her arms, and she was left to bury her child and try to work through those emotions. Rawlinson, along with her captors, traveled and marched many miles and during these marches, she would have to walk the entire time and carry heavy supplies. This was very taxing on her and made her very weary. During her captivity, Rawlingson and, her na and the Native Americans re relocated constantly. In her writings, she indicates each time they moved and set up different camps by using the term remove. After three months in captivity, Rawlingson was ransomed and reunited with her family. She endured many trials and hardships, but persevered and relied on her faith. In an article titled Mary Rawlingson's Captivity Narrative, A Journey Towards Redemption, Ingue and Andrea describe Mary Rawlingson's story as a story that follows her sufferings as she is taken farther and farther away from her community but at the same time is brought closer to herself and into a more intimate relationship with God. Rawlingson's Puritan beliefs and ways of life were challenged in many ways during her captivity. She was able to survive by using her skills to trade them for food and shelter. In order to her, for her to survive, she had to adapt to the Native American culture. She found this very challenging as she viewed Native Americans as barbaric and their culture was vastly different than the Puritan culture. As a Puritan woman, Rawlingson relied on her faith in God to bring her through and eventually out of captivity. Throughout her writing, she points to the grace and mercy that God showed her throughout her time. At the end of her writings, Rawlingson states, The Lord has shown me the vanity of outward things, that we must fully rely on God himself, and our whole dependence must be upon him. During her captivity, Rawlingson went through a spiritual change that is evident by her, in her writings, and this brings her brought her to have a closer relationship with God and lean more on her faith and her Puritan beliefs. At the end of Rawlingson's writings, we see how vastly her life changed due to captivity. In summary, a captivity narrative is a narr is an account written by someone who experienced captivity and it shows their trials and difficulties that they faced.